everyone, I'm Alice. Welcome back to Roji Journal. Today's video is a process video on how I made a notebook from Daphne's diary, which I'm giving away on my channel. If you haven't entered the giveaway, I'll put a link up here and in the description box below. And also, if you want to know the backstory why I made this notebook, check the giveaway video. So, this is the last month issue of Daphne's diary magazine. If you like crafting and papers, I definitely recommend to check this magazine. I chose this lovely and nostalgic image of a little girl for the notebook cover. I am choosing a color for the cover base. I used 160 gram colored cardstock. I am trimming down the image to the size, and I pulled out a scrap to back the image, and then punched the corners with a Fisker corner punch that I got recently. Honestly, it's not the best corner punch I used. I mean, the idea of 3-in-1 is amazing, but it's hard to push and difficult to align the paper. I pulled out a lace ribbon to add on the spine. Now I'm attaching papers on the cover. First, I added double-sided tape on the edge and then I glued all over the paper. Yes, I used them both. This is a good tip if you are having difficulty lining papers when you attach it because if you use only glue stick, the paper will curl a lot so it'll be difficult to control attaching a paper on the other one. And if you use only double-sided tape, it's hard to attach all the surface evenly or you need to use big amount of double-sided tape. And once the papers meet each other, it's really hard to move. But if you add a little bit of glue on double-sided tapes, it's slippery so you can still move around the paper until you find the right place. I hope this makes sense. You saw me using sandpaper on the back of the image because it was the cover of the magazine. It was not glossy but still cut it so I sandpaper to add it here well. Sandpaper helps a lot especially when you work with glossy surface. I'm using Aileen's Tacky Glue for the lace ribbon with a small brush. You can see the paper is wet and cockled where I attached the lace ribbon. So I put in some papers while it dries so the white papers can soak the humidity. This is another good tip. When you use wet glue like PVA glue or Tacky Glue, always put it between something that can soak the humidity so the paper dries flat. Thin paper or thick chipboard, they all work. If you want, you can put a heavy book on it additionally. It'll help a lot more. Now I'm tearing out pages that I like of the magazine to make the inside of the notebook. And I cut them in size and folding in half. But I didn't fold the narrow sheets in half. Instead, I folded them off the center so it has one full side and another much narrower side. I think narrow and small pages add interest to the journal. This page was designed to be trifold, so it became a fold-out page. And I pulled out some color papers and a craft paper, and made them a fold-out pages instead of cutting them. The cover is quite dried, so I am working on the inside cover. I made a pocket on the front inside from the leftover piece of the cover image. Now I'm deciding what order the papers will be bound. And I pulled a frame pocket that I made earlier to include in the middle of the notebook. This is a basic clip pocket with a window that I made with a Dica machine. But if you want to see how I make it, let me know in the comments. There were some pages I wanted to cover, so I pulled out scraps again and made some pockets and fold outs. And I made pockets behind the fold outs as well. I pulled out corner punches and punched some corners before buying them. It was not perfectly flat near the spine, so I added a floral wash tape there. Now I'm binding. 
I use a three hole pamphlet stitch which I think the simplest binding method and my favorite. I used a three hole pamphlet stitch because there wasn't really small pages in this notebook but if you have a page smaller than the half of the length, in this case it is smaller than like 11 cm because the notebook is 21 cm tall, it's better to use five hole pamphlet stitch. It'll be more secure and sturdier. Binding is done and I'm gluing the pocket. This is the same when you include an envelope in the middle of a signature. If you wanna see a tutorial about this, again let me know in the comments. Now I'm gathering things to embellish the inside and fill the pockets from the magazine. A booklet, stickers, recipe cards, cutout pages. I think these circular sectors were supposed to make party hats, but I wanted to make pockets with them because the florals were too pretty. I'm making pockets and filling the notebook with ephemera. Some were tucked in the pockets and some were just paper clips. I really like this round edge pocket. I pulled out some journaling cards from my stash. This is the last thing I did, I'm making a tag. I printed tags in various sizes and used them as a template. This tag template is really handy. And I'm adding this cute baker's twine to the tag. So this is how it's done. This is full of prettiness from the darkness diary and it has lots of interactive elements. I love how this turned out. I hope you like this notebook and I hope the giveaway winner enjoy journaling in this notebook. I use my darkness diaries most of the time when I journal, but this project was so fun. If you have Daphne's diary, let me know what you do with it. If you make a journal from Daphne's diary, please tag me on social media. I really want to see your projects. So I hope you enjoyed watching this process video. I hope I explained well. If you have a question, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!